today, my name is Joshua Glenn and Piesta. Today, I am going to conduct my practice teaching course outcomes assessment 3 on the regards of persistence, voltage, and current in which it will be topically as Ohm's law. So, let's start. On Ohm's law, the formula, formula that we will use is V equals I times R. V, when you multiply the I times R, you will find out the voltage. If you multiply the ampere and the ohm, you will find out the voltage. So let's start with the question number one. The problem number one is... A motor with an operating resistance of 36 is connected to a voltage source. The current in the circuit is 1.5. What is the voltage of the source? So let's start with the given. Uh, oops, we, before we, we solve this, the easiest way to solve the Ohm's law, this problem, is by using the Gresa, Gresa method. Gresa method means given, required, equation, solution, and then the answer. That is the simplest way to solve the problem. So let's start. A motor with an operating resistance of 36 is connected to a voltage source. The current in the circuit is 1.5. The question is, what is the voltage of the source? So let's start with the given. The given would be the resistance, which is 36, and the ampere would be I plus 1.5 ampere. Then the required was the voltage. We are looking for the voltage, so V and the so the equation would be V equals I R and the solution would be just multiply the I and R which is 36 multiplied to 1.5 and that would be the answer. So V for the solution V equals 1.5 times 36 the 1.5 was the ampere and the 36 was the resistance 1.5 times 36 would be 54 so the voltage I times R, which is 1.5 times 36, would be 54. So the voltage is 54. So the answer would be 54, 54 V or 54 volts. 54 volts. And the next question is, or problem, an electric motor with an operating resistance of 64 is connected to a voltage source. The current in the circuit is 1.5 amperes. The question is, what is the voltage of the source? Again, we are looking for the voltage. So, I times R equals to voltage. I times R equals to voltage. Ohm times resistance or ampere would be the voltage. Okay, again, we will use the Gresa method. The given required equation, solution, and answer. So, Gresa. The given would be R. R, the resistance, is equal to 64. And the ampere would be 1.5. So the required, required means the one is missing, the one 
one we are looking for would be the voltage. And the equation would be V equals IR. And the solution would be volt equals to R, which is 64, times 1.5. The solution on this problem is ohm times ampere would be the voltage. So 64 times 1.5 equals to 96. 96 volts. That is the answer, 96 volts. Answer is 96 volts.